Flynn's guilty plea is naturally big news for the president's own legal team. How will they respond to today's developments? Brad Blakeman is an attorney. He advised the Trump transition. He joins us tonight. So, Brad, how, if you're in the White House right now, do you respond to this news about General Flynn? You don't say anything. You let the uh, investigation take its course. There's good news in, in uh, this plea that was taken by Flynn, and that is what your guest alluded to and you in the earlier segment, and that is that there doesn't seem to be any there there with collusion, coercion, conspiracy with regard to the Trump campaign and the Russians trying to influence the election. There's no doubt the Russians tried, uh, and, and they weren't successful in interfering with our election. The good news is it doesn't appear to be a conspiracy by a candidate or his campaign to help in that effort. Flynn, clearly a bad hiring decision uh, to bring on General Flynn, who again was lobbying for the Turkish government uh, at the time. But do you think within the White House they have any idea where this is going or what the point of the investigation is at this point? I don't think they know, but uh, certainly Flynn was given a very good deal uh, based on the information that he had proffered to the FBI. The question is who's next in the sights of the investigation. Uh, but, you know, if you follow it to its logical conclusion, I don't believe this is about collusion or conspiracy with the Russians now. I think it's about lying. Yeah. Did the people who talked to the FBI lie about their involvement? You may think you're doing something wrong when, in fact, you're not. And certainly there was nothing improper with Flynn or anybody else uh, as president-elect's transition team to reach out to other countries. What's so striking about the description uh, of these charges released by the Mueller people today is how many private conversations are described in detail? Conversations between General Flynn and Ambassador Kislyak, other Russian officials unnamed, a number of unnamed transition officials. It suggests to me that all of this was surveilled by federal investigators. Um, do you think that's where the description came from, or do you think people at the White House have described these conversations to the Mueller people? And how paranoid would you be <laughs> if you realize that every phone conversation you had was being listened to by the U.S. government, which apparently is what seems like what's going on. Well, you have to understand that when uh, you as an American citizen are talking to a foreign agent, whether it's the ambassador or charge or whoever it may be, whether they're in this country or outside the country, that you would suspect that those calls, especially with adversarial governments, would be surveilled. Right. So wouldn't you be on guard to that, especially if you're Flynn and you've been in the intelligence community and you've headed an agency, you would think that, that our government was on the ball. You certainly had privy to the information when you were doing it. So there's no doubt that the FBI has chapter and verse on conversations that were had. So it makes it very easy for them to corroborate or to catch somebody telling something that's not true. No, I mean, you make, a, a you make a fair point. I mean, you ran an intel agency, but you speak freely to Kislyak, not knowing it's being exactly. recorded, and then you speak to the FBI without a lawyer. It's, it's not very bright <laughs> at all. But there are also no. a number of conversations described in some detail in this document between Flynn and people on the transition team, American citizens. Do you think those conversations were surveilled, or do you think those transition officials spoke to investigators? Well, I would hope that it was uh, testimony that was given to investigators and not surveilled, because in order for that to happen, there would have had to be a warrant. And I would be very interested into how that warrant was was made. Was it on uh, information that was corroborated, was on hearsay? These are things that, that would be very troubling if, in fact, Americans were being surveilled uh, by law enforcement. Yeah, well, they are being. Brad, thank you very much. I appreciate Pleasure. it.